It's been a good season actually for me uh, personally. I think I, I did well, you know, considering how difficult it is uh, the men league, you know, the circumstances are very difficult, but um, I managed to adapt and I worked very hard and it, was, it turned out to be a good season, you know, because they say home is home, so, and home is where the heart is. So I, I, I really wanted to come home at some point. And uh, I came home and I found a home in Indola at First Rangers and I'm, I'm very happy about that. I think they'll just have to expect more of the same, but a little bit more. You know, I felt like, um, yes, I scored 11 goals. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, but I, I feel like I could have scored more goals, you know, and the team could have finished a little bit higher in the league, on, the, on the league table. So for next season, they must just expect a lot of hard work, lots of exciting football. You know, with our new coach, Ian Bakala, definitely it's, it's all about exciting, attacking football. So they should be looking forward to a, a different and better First Rangers football club. I'm actually very excited about the, the, the coming qualifiers, you know. Um, as you can see, I'm even rocking this beautiful copper jersey, you know. Um, it's an easy group on paper, you know, but uh, we need to have the right attitude. If we're going to qualify uh, for the first time in the last three years, we are going to have to give our best, our everything for, for the country of Zambia. So we don't have to uh, underestimate Comoros and, and Lesotho in our group you know, and think that we can maybe just get a draw against the Ivory Coast. We need to have the attitude of beating all the teams in our group and that's the only way that we can we can qualify. And it's going to take each and every individual in the team to give their best, be focused, be disciplined and fight for, for the next person in the team. First and foremost, the qualifiers start in Ivory Coast. So I think the result in Ivory Coast is going to have an effect on the on the supporters as well. So I feel like the, the players need to first take care of the fans in Ivory Coast by getting a positive result. So that when we come home, uh, I can just encourage the fans to come out in numbers and uh, support the team, not put pressure on the team, but support the team to win. Because sometimes, you know, when the, when the fans put pressure on you, uh, you know, if you feel the pressure on the pitch, you are, you are prone to making a lot of mistakes. But when they come and they're supporting you, they're singing they're those beautiful songs, beating the drums, even the players want to play, they want to win. So I can just encourage the players to come and support the team, not to put pressure on the team. It is a very difficult game on paper, but being a Chipolo Polo myself, one thing that I know about the Chipolo Polo is that we're not scared of anyone. So we can definitely go to Ivory Coast and get a result. Then that's going to now need each and every player in the team to go, to go out there and fight for the team. Because the most important thing is not, is not to beat Ivory Coast, it's to qualify for the Africa Cup, which means that every game is a must win. So I can just encourage them to just be confident, believe in themselves, go out there and not give too much respect to, to Ivory Coast and, and hopefully we can get a win that side. <laughs> I've only done uh, a few uh, coaching lessons. Um, um, there's a CAFC coming up, which I'm hoping that I might be able to do as well. Uh, but, but for me personally, um, my dream after football is not really into coaching, but more into administration. You know, I feel like um, I can offer better services in terms of you know scouting and trying to mentor some of the younger players that are coming out. You know, when I look at what I've been through in my career myself, I think I'll be a good mentor to a lot of uh, young and upcoming stars. One thing that soccer players struggle with yeah, is uh, sleeping and resting. So I think I've also tried to encourage them to, to get enough rest most of the time because you need your body to, to recover in time. So it's all about being focused and disciplined and you know having a dream that you want to achieve and playing for that dream. Um, I think uh, it, has, it has been a good season so far from what I've seen. You know, For the guys in England, the guys in Sweden, uh, and the other guys, I think they have, they have all done their best. Uh, when you look at their statistics, most of them have got a lot of game time up there. So they'll definitely be coming here with a lot of uh, you know, confidence, a lot of experience as well. They have played with some of the best players in the world. So I think they just have to bring their form from that side and bring it back home to Zambia now. <laughs>